Hey, welcome to the Morning Mix podcast. Today we celebrated World Teacher Day by asking you teachers to call in with your favorite in-class jokes. Oh man, we got some math jokes. Oh man. Some other math jokes. Yeah, there was uh, 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 science jokes. Supplies! Hey, got them! That and much more coming your way on the Morning Mix podcast. Travis's birthday is today. Taylor, she's got to get her hands on some kind of a gift for him. What's it going to be? Maybe her hands are the gift. We don't know. Whoa. Mm-mm. They're in a consensual adult relationship. Maybe some love makings in order. It's his birthday. Oh, man, dang. Whoa. I'm just thinking about practice. like when you first start dating someone, buying someone this first gift is so stressful. Sure. Right? Unless you're Taylor Swift, you just be like, I bought you Walmart. I bought you, I bought you <laughs> right. a country. Which so. which Walmart? All of them. All of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, you just walk in anytime you want <laughs> and whatever you want. It's like a pantry to you now. <laughs> right. Uh, that's cool. Can I bring my brother? Yeah, well, I don't care. Anybody you want. All right. That's how it goes when you are Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. And today is his birthday. So what should Taylor get him as a gift? Text us at 312-233-1019-815. How about a whole ass island? I like that. Mm-hmm. Get him an island. It's kind of nice. Road Island. Road Island, yeah. <laughs> 815. G- give him a cardigan. Oh, oh very nice. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, somebody suggested she offer him Taylor's tight end. I think that's an interesting option. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's up to them. It's up to them. 815, maybe she can get him tickets to see Jelly Roll. <laughs> If anybody can get their hands on it. Yeah, yeah. you got any hookups, Taylor? Sh- I can't even get you tickets to see me. Seven oh eight, get him a let us entertain you gift card. So many options. Those are always around good. And the you country. Get $25 back if you yeah. wait until the holidays. Yeah. She loves a deal. How do you think she built this empire? <laughs> see, she could help him get the new coaching job in Chicago. That's an interesting thought. Eight four seven. That's coming up. If he's ready. Ah, right, here we go. Seven seven three. Get him a bush latte. I like that. 708, why not a nice Xbox or PS5 game? Just a game. Yeah. Oh, I don't have an Xbox. Oh, well, I bought you Microsoft. So there, you can have yeah. them all. <laughs> okay. 773, how about a friendship bracelet? That'll be kind of cute. Uh, you know, that was his whole thing started. about I want to give right. her one with my That's number right. on it. Yeah. Let's see. How about a preview of the next song that she's going to release? He'll get to hear it first. This is my gift to you. It's kind of fun. Three, three, one. Get him a razor because his stupid mustache needs to go. Oh, wow. Okay. oh wow. Watch out. That's fair. 630 chai cookies. Is that a Taylor Bake option? I guess. Okay. They know more than we do. Mm-hmm. Uh, Taylor, a guy named Taylor, says, uh, I think he, she should get him a nice dinner at White Castle. Mm, for kinda sure. Nice. Yeah. Uh, 312, give him a private jet. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. It's kind of not bad. Let's see. Uh, how about 708? Give him one of her cats. Oh, oh, I don't think she would do that. that. No, no way. <laughs> she wouldn't. You want to rehome the cat? Uh, no, 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 Kansas no. City. Maybe, what, a maybe adopt him a new cat. Yeah, a new little kind of not a nougat. Did you say a new little kitten? Oh, new little kitten. I thought you yeah. said a nougat little kitten. I was like, all right, that's. I don't know. That was a thing. You could name it nougat. That yeah. would be a nice name for a cat. Look at <laughs> nougat. This. We it just kind of nice, right? It's like, yeah. Yeah. come here, nougat. Yeah. You got to stay quick with us. You never know what's coming next. You know. Seven away. She should buy him a whole restaurant staff. It seems like he eats a lot. Mm-hmm. He's a football player, you know. Growing, growing boy. Mm-hmm. And finally, from a 708, what should Taylor Swift give Travis Kelsey for his birthday? A non-disclosure agreement. Amen, sister. Uh, that's yep. what we do. From Chicago to your device, this is the Morning Mix Podcast. 219 texted as we chat about the pressure around giving the first gift. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, well, they have to exchange gifts because, well, it's his birthday. So she's going to get right. him something, right? So we got a text from 219. Uh, it was my first birthday in our relationship. Uh, he gave me a card, but that wasn't the worst part about it. The card was still in the bag, unsigned. Oh, yeah. He's I, like, I got it. Happy birthday. It. Yeah. Thought of you. That's not how it works, buddy. Said I, he ran out of time. He thought you could reuse it. So it was a yeah. gift. That keeps it was on a giving. gift you could mm-hmm. use again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what can you do? On our first Mother's Day as a husband, uh, totally blew it. On the way to dinner, stopped at Walgreens for the gift, ran inside, got one rose, and flip-flops. <laughs> you know when Walgreens is the go-to, you're like, all right, I got mm-hmm. you some uh, Prilosec and uh, Peptid, or Pepsid and uh, mm-hmm. uh, night cream. And a Thai beanie. You're because welcome. Because you love you lions. Love, yeah, I know you love them. <laughs> they have that whole aisle of stuff that's not uh, foot cream. Right. <laughs> you know, so it's like things like that. The perfect gift yeah. idea. I think it actually says it on the side. Yeah, as seen on TV. Exactly. You got to have it. But they totally blew it. Hey, Danielle, how are you this morning? Hey, great. How are you guys doing? We're doing really well. Now, was this your birthday or Valentine's Day, Christmas? What was it? 
It was my birthday. Okay, your birthday, and it was the first time he gave you something in the relationship. Yeah, so we had just uh, moved together abroad, and it was my first, first, like our first, you know, time there together, and my first birthday there. And he went out the night before my birthday to go run some errands, and he ended up giving me a nail buffer, one of those like four-sided nail buffers that like. You know, you buff it, and then you turn it, and mm-hmm. it makes your nails shiny. Yeah, and you polish it. Yeah. yeah. It's four-sided. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. a lot of sides. Yeah, he didn't just give you a one-sided right. thing. Right, right. Yeah, so he, he said, oh, I know you love to get your nails done. Now I thought you could do them yourself. I saved, I'm going to help you save money. Yeah. And save yeah. us money, because we're, we're together now. We're overseas, and this yeah. is really be great. represents overseas travel. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> How long yeah. did the relationship so last? <laughs> Uh, we're still married, and it's been 11 years. There you oh, go. look at See? that. How do your nails look? I mean, I go get them done now. Yeah. And, yeah. You know. yeah. Has he gotten he's gotten better? Yeah, I was about to say, has he gotten better? Um, yes, they've gotten better. He <laughs> kind of gets me the same gift each time, but um, I now sort of, you know, email him a link to, to things that smart. I like because it works better that way. If you're thinking of my birthday, Here's please check your email. The wish list. The yeah, Amazon the wish, wish list. list. That's right. <laughs> All right, so Danielle gets a four-sided, worth noting, four sides. That's what I'm saying. Come on. It's not like an argument. It's twice that. Hi, Jill. Good morning. How are you? Hi, good morning. So it was, uh, what, was this your birthday or uh, Christmas, something like that? It was our first Christmas together. Beautiful. And, um... I had just mentioned in passing once that, oh, penguins are cute. Because I think it was that movie, like, Happy Feet or March of the Penguins was out. And he had his mother stop at a store and pick up my Christmas gift, which was a giant stuffed penguin from the movie Happy Feet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it wasn't a winner, huh? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, but we are we've been married for sixteen years. Okay, <laughs> see, so see, I, it all yeah. works out. He's yeah. feeling like, listen, this was a this was a great idea. Yeah, exactly. it all worked out. It all came together. Do you still have the penguin? Do you? Oh, hang on a second. I I have to know. Jill, do you guys still have the penguin in the house? We do still have the penguin. It is sitting in our guest room. Oh, <laughs> awesome! What's wow. the penguin's name? Um, well, I did name him Mr. Penguin because I was going through nursing school when um, he first gave it to me. So I gave it a little bracelet even and used it as my patient for um, fake exams. I had to oh, <laughs> nice. So oh, I, 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 don't know, I don't know if we have all day. I'm sure we don't. Yeah, but rewinding just for a second. You said he had his mother go yeah. and pick out the penguin. So yeah, what, what was yeah, that part we- of the story about? Why couldn't he go do it? Um, we were both living in the city, going to school, and a, he didn't have a car. And apparently, we were because we were going home to his family's for Christmas. Okay. And he asked her to pick it up. <laughs> Sounds fair. I mean, he's practical. Yeah, you yeah, think he, the mom could have been like, "I don't know yeah, about this." Yeah, are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> or this girl sounds real interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he must have had a lot of conviction. Like, no, ma, ma, ma. She loved penguins. This like, is it's what crazy. She like. Yeah. It's crazy. Hey, man, Mr. Penguin's still around. Yeah, Mr. So Penguin, yeah. It's got a bunch, 16 years. Yeah, he's got a bunch of needle holes in him, though, from all the patient testing, and he turns and coughs well. But finally, hi, Shelly. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing really well. This sounds like a great gift. What was the gift? <laughs> okay, let me just, full disclosure, I'm a lemonade out of lemons person. Very hard to humiliate me. <laughs> so... We were with our family. This was a boyfriend from years ago. And I get the blue Tiffany's bag Ooh. and the little blue Tiffany's box. Ooh. And, you know, the parents are freaking out. Everyone's getting out their cameras. And because there were no smartphones yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I open it and it's the freaking lollipop ring. Oh. What a bit. Yeah. Good bit. Hilarious. Great joke. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great joke. I mean, I was like, uh-huh. And it takes a lot for me to be embarrassed, but yeah. that was devastating. Yeah, oh. that's a lot in front of everybody. Wow. Now, was there ever a real engagement? Yeah. Like, was it or, like a switcheroonie? No. no, it was one of those, you know, Peter Pan guys. And, and yeah. The I ones know who never well. grow up. I know. Oh, and let's just God. say he's still in Never Never Land. Yeah. Let's just say and you're Wendy. You've moved on. you got a nice family and kids. and He wore tights a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Oh, yeah, man. well. Watch out. That'll now, were your him. parents who were, your parents were there or his parents were there? Um, his mom, his his dad passed away years ago. and um, But yes, um, my 
family was there, and his mom was there, and his sister was there, and his sister's boyfriend, who actually did propose. Man, that's <laughs> oh, a big wow. wow. Wait, 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 the same day? <laughs> he proposed that day? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Is, what is, what is oh, yeah. this? Was it before or <laughs> after your jokey uh, boyfriend? Um, Let me think about it. It was it was after. So oh he God. does a prank. Was, was Were like, they in cahoots? I don't know because I kind of feel like <laughs> they, the parents were trying to, they were trying to get a little redemption. I like guess. They thought we did this first to, on purpose. Right, right. To like throw you them know. off the scent. Now yeah, you are no exactly. longer with this individual. Is that right? Did you oh, say X? No. Yeah. Oh, long X. Long yeah. X. Peter yeah. Pan has <laughs> moved to Never Never That's Land. Right. And, Sorry, uh, no, no, no. he's fine. It sounds like a Kelsey brother prank. It really it does really sound has Kelsey brother esque. All, the, brother-esque. all, all the making. yeah. Second star to the right, and straight on until get the hell out of my house. You're listening to the Morning Mix podcast. When I was a little kid, I spilled maple syrup all over the kitchen floor and then got scared that I was going to get yelled at, and I ran through the maple syrup, then ran through the carpeted living room, and then up the carpeted stairs to my carpeted bedroom. <laughs> they never found me. No, <laughs> not at all. Syrup was everywhere. You got a toddler that's made a mess? Let's find out. Hi, Stephanie. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? We're doing really well. Your toddler made a mess. What was it? Yeah, so there was an unopened bottle, like a 64-ounce handle from Costco of Crown Royal that my son accidentally kicked off the counter. It shattered all over the kitchen, the whole entire bottle, and it even cracked a tile in the floor. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> That's like an eye-watering amount of alcohol, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, was yeah. the smell enough where you guys were like, oh. Well, it was before school, and his jeans started just soaking it all up, and all I could think was that DCFS was going to call me that. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> kiddo. God. What's going on at home? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. nightmare. That is wow. amazingly bad. Oh. All right, stay right there, Stephanie. Don't go anywhere. A whole 64 costco size bottle of Crown shatters. <laughs> That's a tough cleanup, too. Hi, Kimmy. How are you? Hi, how are you? Doing really well. <laughs> what was the toddler mess? So I was out with my friends. I come home. Daddy's watching the kids. And my toddler is sitting in a pool of oil, like skin oil, her like dermatology oil. And my older daughter says, hi, mom, and comes running over and flips and falls in the oil. So like oh baby oil, basically, right? And it was there to yeah. help keep the skin moist. Played with the bottle. Yeah. We got oil all over. Now, is this on carpet or hardwood or what What, what kind of floor are we on? It was hardwood. Okay. It was hardwood floor and she was covered head to toe while my husband is playing video games on a Switch. Yeah, well, oh, you know, they, they, oh. went, they wanted to slide down the stairs as fast as possible. Yeah. I kind of get that. All right, Kimmy, don't go anywhere. She's got a whole bottle of oil there. Watch out. Hi, Annie. How are you this morning? I'm great. How are you guys? Good. Usually this is the room you go to to clean up a mess. You were in the bathroom. What happened? Uh, So I was feeding my newborn. Um, I heard my toddler's little feet like running around. I could see towels going. He had been playing in the sink, keeping himself busy. Forgot to turn out the water. I heard my husband come home from work. Tell, what's going on? And, uh, yeah, he flooded not only our second floor, but water was going through the can lights downstairs. Whoa. Um, yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, it sounds like it Sounds fun. like it was great. <laughs> now, did you guys end up having to have anybody come out and, like, clean up some drywall or anything like that? Or did you manage to sop oh, it up yeah. and everything? Oh, you did. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Flooded. Uh, Flooded the cabinet, you know, the huge, you know, 60 oh. roll of uh, toilet paper that was underneath. Oh. Yeah, it, it ran down the stairs, the, the whole thing. What a blast. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, I'm sure awesome. your husband was very uh, understanding. Yeah, 100%. Everybody oh, was. Oh, 100%. Yeah. He's like, what was going on at the time? I go, we have two kids. Yeah, what yeah. the hell do you want yeah. from me? Right, they have their minds of their own. <laughs> they the sure do. Zone. You got to get in there. The sink is a fun place to play. I mean, come on. Hi, Gina. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? This sounds like a delicious breakfast. I don't understand. There was a toddler mess. What happened? Uh, my boys were 17 months apart. They both had a brown sugar pop tart, and they decided while eating they would be better suited to go inside the disk drive of our computer. Oh, this is no. the 90s. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the VCR. Oh, yeah, why not? You got to pop them in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah, got to see. Why not? That's what they're made for. 
I can crumble and melt and break apart inside your expensive electronics. That's a good time. You know yeah. what I mean? It makes sense for everybody. It's a good way to toast them up. It's good. They're delicious. And Bridget, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I only see one word here. It scares me a little bit. You had a toddler mess and it yeah. involved poop. What happened? Poop. I put her down for a nap and I thought, wow, she's really quiet. I peek in the room. There was poop everywhere. The crib, the wall, in her hand. She's just smashing it, looking at me, smiling. I'm like, oh, my God. Ah. Yeah. So, Stephanie, you had Crown Royale, Kimmy, a bottle mm-hmm. of kid skin oil. Annie had actual destruction in the house, and Gina has Pop-Tarts in a VCR. But if you walk into a kid Picassoing with their own poop, yeah, yeah, it don't get more toddler messy than that. Congratulations, yeah. Bridget. From Chicago to your device, this is the Morning Mix Podcast. Happy World Teacher Day. Around the world, teachers are celebrating today. That means teachers are telling jokes in every language you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Jokes like the one texted to us by a 773 every time we start a standard exam. This is what I say. Before we get started, does anyone need to use the bathroom? Speak now or forever hold your pee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're welcome, kids. You're welcome. We've got a lot of teachers lined up here. We're going to have the mic open. Teachers, it is time for your best teacher joke to celebrate World Teacher Day because a fact has been released stating by Arizona State University, 99% of science students appreciate a teacher with a sense of humor. 99%. And they feel like they're learning more and they're learning better because they're relaxed and having a good time in class. And can we call them like Mr. Mrs. Miss? So- by their name? Yeah, 100%. because I feel like, you know, like... Feels better. Yeah, Joan isn't going to tell me a joke, but like uh, Mrs. Prairie is. Yeah, she you is. Know? And we need, to, we need to really set the stage and set the vibe. You're right. Hi, good morning. Morning. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry. I only have your first name, and I don't want to blow this. So what do the kids call you in class? The kids call me Mrs. U. Hi, Mrs. U. Mrs. U, it is time. You are a science teacher, and we need your I best am. science classroom joke. Mrs. U, the floor is yours. Thank you. Why can't you trust Adams? Why, Mrs. U? Because they make up everything. Oh, oh yes. educational and funny. Mm-hmm. Hey, come on. Yep. Busted that one out yesterday. Crushed yeah. it. How did it go over? Uh, pretty well. My sixth graders loved it. Oh, uh, that's good. Fresh. Well, yeah. Joseph yeah. didn't read the lesson plan, didn't exactly. get it. What yeah. do you mean they make up everything? Joseph Adam who? Right. Adam who? Which Adam? Adam Copeland? Ed from the WWE? <laughs> Is that what we're talking about? Okay, Mrs. U, don't go anywhere, okay? Stay right there. Mrs. U, okay. she's got the Adam comedy. Hi, it's the Morning Mix. Who are we speaking with? Hello, hello? Hello. Hi. What, hello. What, is, what is your name with the students? This is Carrie. Miss Carrie, they call me. Miss Carrie. Carrie. Perfect. Hi, Miss Carrie. Welcome. Happy World Teacher Day. What do you teach, Miss Carrie? Okay, I teach literature, but the lady next door, this is a shout out to her. She teaches little, little math, like first grade math. Okay. Every day she has a joke. A uh, little riddle on the board. So yesterday's joke or riddle: Why are um, why does an obtuse or when does an op- or why does an obtuse angle go to the beach? Why? why? Because it's over ninety degrees. Come on. <laughs> Looking for little kids, but like I say, like, you know, first graders, you know, so they really have to think about it. It's so cute. So, yeah. yeah, you had to think about it too, Miss Carrie. You were like, no, wait, oh, no, it's not who, wait a second, it's where. It's not a Hang cute, on. it's a. Hang on, I have it in my coffee. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, uh... okay Miss Carrie, stay right there. They've got some obtuse. It's over 90, guys. Angle. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's over 90. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Elizabeth. Good morning. Good morning. The kids call me Mrs. Rath. Mrs. Ra- wait, wait, how do you spell it? Like the music, R A P P. That's my Mrs. wife's name. What? Are we related? <laughs> Were you at my <laughs> wedding? Hi, Miss. Hi, Miss Rap. Good morning. Good morning. Now, what do you teach? So I teach middle school uh, language arts. Okay. But language I have arts. a general teacher's joke. Okay, here we go. Okay. Take it away, okay. Miss Rap. What did the teacher say when she jumped out of the closet? What? All right, she said. Supplies. 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 Okay. (laughs) 
got them. <laughs> Normally, so if I, if I, yeah, if I have stuff in my hand and I do that, the kids are like, "Oh no, not uh, again!" Uh, <laughs> I guess it's another language arts project. They're so gonna write our favorite words. I love that. Yeah. Okay, stay right there, Miss Rap. Okay, stay right there. She's jumping out of closets because she's got supplies. supplies. That's a nice joke. I like it. Okay, hello, good morning. Hi, who is this? This is Laura Painter. Hi, hi. what is it? What do the students call you in class? I uh, didn't call me Mrs. Painter. Mrs. Painter. Beautiful. And you didn't go into art, huh? I did not go into art. My sister's an art teacher, but no, I'm a science teacher. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Art Garfunkel, art teacher. It all comes together. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> Miss Painter? Yes. Okay, great. You teach chemistry. What is I your do. joke? Um, so this one has gotten the students, and I really, actually, I think it got me my current job at Stevenson High School. <laughs> I teach in the city. Well, that's a, um, okay. And so <laughs> our joke is, Two atoms are walking down the street. One starts kind of looking around and turns to his friend and goes, I think I lost an electron. And his Adam friend goes, are you sure? And he goes, I'm positive. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of neutral on that one, but it is good. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. So much for that, Laura. Okay, stay right there. Okay, don't go anywhere, Miss Painter. She's staying there. The name is confusing because she's teaching chemistry. Yeah. But she, boy, an artist with the words with that joke. Well, Watch that's out. true. All right, we got two more, y'all. Uh, buenos dias, Senora Infandon. Buenos dias. Ah, que bueno. Uh, hola, me llamo Cristobal. Me llamo Senora Infandon. Mucho gusto. Oh, okay, we did too much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bailamos. Let the rhythm take you over. Okay, good morning, good morning. Thank you for being here. You uh, teach Spanish, is that right? I do. Okay, beautiful. How old are the kids you're teaching? I teach fifth and sixth grade. Okay, great. What is your joke? Take it away. All right, sure, you have to know your Spanish color. It's pretty basic here, but what is the funniest color? On a run, ha, 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 no. oh! oh! Which is orange. Which is orange. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that joke. It doesn't have me feeling azul. I know that. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's blue. Okay. You know I mean? Show it <laughs> off now. Yeah, now you're, you're, you're just showing off. You guys are going to be <laughs> rowing on the floor. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's red. Yeah. Crushed it. I like that. Okay, stay right there. Okay. Very good. See, you guys, we're getting multilingual out here. It's oh, really happening. Unbelievable. We got one more joke, and we're going to see if it adds up. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Great. What do the students call you? Mrs. Flanagan. Mrs. Flanagan. All right. It is time, Mrs. Flanagan. What do you teach? I teach math. Beautiful. In a high school. High school math. That's a tough crowd. Let's have your math joke. You got it. What did the zero say to the eight? What did the zero say to the eight? What? Nice belt. Oh, because he 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 cinched his waist. Wow. Okay. (laughs) It's so dumb. It's so dumb. You reacted yeah. just the same way a high school kid does. <laughs> That's exactly. I like that a lot, you guys. Okay. We've got an Adam Ooh. joke at the top. We've got up two. They're at the beach because it's over 90, guys. Elizabeth has supplies. Laura, they got the Adams walking down the street. I think I lost an Electra. I am positive. Senora Infandon hits us with the funniest color on her. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. And Sarah just hit us with a math joke because that eight, it's wearing a belt. Nikki, what do you Man, like? I'm going to go uh, with our first one, Mrs. You and her uh, Adam's joke. Adam's joke. joke. Yeah. Okay, the Adam right off the top. Whip. I think I like the belt. The belt on the eight. Mm-hmm. I got to go with the belt because to go to high school kids and try to put a joke in, yeah. the lesson plan is tough. Yeah. Mrs. Congra- Flanagan. Congratulations, Mrs. Mm-hmm. Flanagan. <laughs> hey, thank you guys. Thanks for making the morning so fun. You're listening to the Morning Mix Podcast. Thursday 3 style. We're celebrating homecoming today. On Friday night, we're going to be at Wheaton North High School watching the Wheaton North Falcons battle the Geneva Vikings, and it's Wheaton North's homecoming. We're really pumped to be out there tomorrow night. We'll be there. Kickoff's at 7 o'clock. It's homecoming. People are going to be out there wearing neon along with their royal and their blue, and we're pumped. and We're excited about it. But it has homecoming on the brain for today's Thursday 3 style. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. How are you today? 
Good morning, everybody. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything you do every morning. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, Let's give listening. her more prizes. <laughs> thank you, are, you. You are my happy place, so thank oh, you. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Goodness. That's so kind of you. Now, Lisa, have you heard us do a Thursday Three Style before? I have. Okay, great. So here's what we do. We take three words in a given topic, and we work them into a song live and in the moment with no prep or planning or writing or anything. You can tell, by the way, I'm stumbling Can't through the explanation. <laughs> plepper pranning. Plepper, plepper, plepper. So, Lisa, when we say to you, homecoming, what are the first three words that come to mind? Spirit. Spirit. Parade. Parade. Pep rally. Pep rally. Ooh. Okay, hyphenated. Oh. Okay, so we've parade. got spirit. Spirit. Okay, great. We've got parade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we've got pep rally. Okay, Lisa, we're going to put you on hold for a moment, and we are going to work our way through Lisa's Thursday 3 style for homecoming. Don't go anywhere, Lisa. Earlier, we told you today that it's National Get Funky Day. Of course. Ah. So we're going to get funky for homecoming. Ah. You guys hear that hoo-hoo? It's coming up. Here it is. I need your help on this one. You guys are going to go like this. Ho-co. Okay, short for homecoming. Yeah. Oh, Let's practice it. right here. Nikki Whip and V in the back. Here we go. There it was. Hang on. Okay. Hoko! You in your car, you at your desk, you on the toilet, you can say Hoko right along with us. That's 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 it for the Thursday for yourself. Thank you. No? I gotta <laughs> do fun. the whole thing? Alright. Hoko! Thank you guys. Here we go. Hey! Uh. Hoko! Hey! We're going to get ourselves right over to the school. Man, I hope I'm dressed really cool. I got to look real good. Got to fly with it. I got my neon on because Wheaton North has spirit. Hey, man, we locked it down. It's time for us to march all through the town. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. yeah. In the parade. Now we got to get in the gym. Everybody's close, man. I'm squeezing next to him. Man, it's getting really kind of hot. I'm kind of sweating, man. This is all that I got. I got to get to the word when you're all there cheering. Now I'm feeling like a little bit of fearing. You can say that he's no Ed Sheeran. Man, how do we get to the last word? I've been working on it. It's like I'm in the back and I'm taking a... No, that doesn't work. Hang on a second. I'm in an alley and I'm stuck on my way to the pep rally. Welcome back to the show, Lisa. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. She's doing it. Uh. Yeah, let's get a hoko with Lisa. Here it comes, Lisa. Are you ready? Hey. I'm ready. Hoko. Hoko. Yeah. Yeah. Football. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> it's hard. It is tough, right? It's like you, you gotta rehearse. You know, like an extra <laughs> Next time we have to rehearse. Nah. No, that's the whole point. We'll no, be screwed. No, but oh, seriously, no. let's just pretend yeah, it's the, live the, and rehearse. No, we gotta be authentic on the moment, Lisa. <laughs> You just won a hundred dollar Disney gift card. Yes, thank you so much. You are so very welcome. Uh, What school did you go to growing up? Schomburg High School. Shout out to Schomburg Saxons. My wife went there as well. Look at that. And Robert Downey Jr.'s wife too, right? Uh, I think she did. Susan Messing, right? No, not Messing. What's her name? Susan Downey. You're after me. Whoa! Whoa. Look at this. Shows her. See? You could have married Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, could have. Could have. have. Yeah. The Morning Mix Flash Briefing with Violetta. Okay, you know who has not been laughing a lot? Drew Barrymore Mm. and the whole show. They really can't catch a break. So Drew got a lot of negative feedback after announcing that the show would be returning during the writer's strike. And then she very quickly pulled that back because of all the negative feedback and said, I've listened to all of you. I've made the decision to not bring the show back before the strike is over. A lot of apologies, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now apparently that the the writer's strike is over, the co-head writers at the Drew Barrymore show will not be returning. Yowch. They have decided to not join the show, even though now they can. Oh. And um, I guess we'll see, you know, what comes out of all of this. Yeah. Well, probably some new writers. But, um, Ugh. yeah, they're not going to go back to that. Thank Nailed you, it. Drew. Happy you sounded days. happy right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. She did. No writers needed for that. <laughs> no writers needed. So we're close to Friday, right? But not quite there. And people are feeling a little overworked, exhausted, and frankly, over it. 
That's why I think this audio is trending this morning. I said, damn, this going to work. I'm going to start an OnlyFans. I'm going to learn to twerk. I said, damn, this shit ain't for me. I'm going to start selling pictures of my feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my right? That's what? how you feel when you're in the parking oh, lot at man. work. Like, do I have to go inside? Yeah, yeah the truth. Yeah, for oh, my God. Not for us, but you know. Most no. people, though. Yeah, most, people. most people. We most love people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We don't cry on our way in here at four in the morning. Oh. Um, friend of a friend of a friend, you know? <laughs> Next up, everyone is talking about or was talking about girl math recently, right? So oh, yeah. last couple of weeks, it's like girl math this, girl math that. It's basically justifying um, your purchases or how when you return something, you basically made money. It's a twisted way of making ourselves feel better about shopping. It's correct math. Yeah. It's, right, sure. right, exactly. Sure. Thank you. Well, now the internet decided to invent boy math. Oh. So it, it didn't come out of really nothing. But the girls online now are saying, well, let me describe boy math to you since you're making fun of girls math. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm going to give you a couple examples. Um, so boy math is being afraid of gold diggers when you only have three pairs of socks to your name. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want love that. Yeah. She's, just, right. She's just here for my money. Exactly. Yeah. After, after everything I got. Can I get that coupon? And they're those yeah. gold toe. They're those old school the gold, gold toe. toe. <laughs> socks. Uh, here's another one. Um, boy math is him doing the oil changes and the snow shoveling and then her doing the cooking and laundry and him saying this is equal because we both have two chores. Um, oil changes and snow shoveling, not a daily occurrence. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. yeah, that's true. Especially if you bring it to Jiffy. I was little... just well, say it that. doesn't add up. <laughs> Does not add up, boys. <laughs> and they're paying the shoveler guy. <laughs> what can you do? And lastly, while we are at it, one more boy math is um, not being ready for a relationship, but expecting all of the relationship perks. Oh, fellas. Not mm-hmm. adding up to that one either. Be better. Mm-hmm. I think our best one, though, is the gold digger one. 100%. And that's your flash briefing. All right, thank you for joining us for the Morning Mix podcast. Make sure you rate, review, like, and follow this podcast. You can also follow us on social at 1019 Mix Chicago. And we will see you tomorrow on the Morning Mix.